I have to completely focus the entire time or I'm going to fall. You can be doing the most insane drop in line and a small pebble, if you don't see it and you're not prepared for it, you will fall. No matter how long you're riding, how good you are, it's that pebble that takes you out when you're not paying attention. We're out here mountain unicycling. We are mountain unicycling. We're out here at uh, Cathedral Rock in uh, Sedona, Arizona. It's one of the only places in the world you can come to ride rocks like this. Last year we held an event, we had 50 people here. But when I first started doing it, it was just complete shock and awe. You're riding that clown bike in Sedona? Oh my gosh! It is the ultimate trick bike, so you can maneuver in tight quarters, yet still, with 26 inch, you can travel a lot, of, cover a lot of ground. So, I don't know, I've been doing it for over 15 years, and it's just my absolute favorite of all cycling sports. So the most challenging thing about unicycling is probably just learning to ride. And I'm attempting to track stand. It's definitely one of the skills that most unicyclists need to learn in order to uh, really progress further. You can't just get on a unicycle and go right away. You have to spend you know, a few hours falling off before you can even um, go forward. You use your legs kind of for shock. You kind of hover off the seat, and like most people think you'd hurt your nuts, but you really don't. Like you hardly ever. Like I've nutted myself way worse on a bike than on a unicycle. Oh, this is crazy. I'm out of my element. I'm out of my mind. I'm watching people like Cody, people like Ryan, people like Eric, and all I can think of is this is what I have to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm the baby. But uh... we love you, baby. <laughs> a lot of people tell us that unicycling looks extremely terrifying and honestly it is so much safer than mountain biking it's in my opinion safer than skateboarding uh, like our top speed on like a 20 24 inch unicycle is like 12 miles per hour way more technical than i would do on my bike i would never take my bike out here i wouldn't think twice about it on the unicycle it'd be like not hard go, go. <laughs> my limits um my limits have changed drastically throughout the years. I used to hurt, get hurt a lot testing my limits out. Yeah. When it comes to reading a line, like the staircase that we just did, I can go slow, pick my way through it, and I'm not gonna get hurt. I also know if I really want to be a cool shot, I can go as fast as I can, and I might fly over the front. It's just, there's a lot of terrain reading, just like mountain biking. You look at what you can do, you look at the line, and you, you weigh your pros and cons. How likely am I to land this? If I don't land it, what is my penalty of failure? You have to just be confident before you go off. Like if you go off a, a big drop and you're not completely confident, then you're probably gonna mess up and get hurt. And you have to, you have to commit to it. You have to envision landing it. There is no, I'm gonna try, but if you don't see yourself doing it, just, just get off the cycle and don't try. Come on! Woo! Thank you! Woo! Yay! Woo!